From Studio 3C in Rockefeller Center, this is News 4 New York. Welcome back. Acne is one of the worst parts of being a teenager, but it doesn't just go away as you get older. In some cases, those who didn't even have acne in their teens see flare-ups in their 20s and 30s. This is actually National Acne Awareness Month, and it may sound silly to some, not if you've suffered from acne, but acne is the number one skin disorder in the U.S. The good news, there are some great new treatments out there, and Dr. Neil Sadik is a clinical professor of dermatology at Weill Cornell Medical College, and he joins us now to talk about it. So, Dr. Sadik, thanks for coming. Coming in. My pleasure, Erica. A acne really is torture for so many people out there, and there are some staggering statistics about how many people really suffer. That is, acne. acne is the number one problem that comes into dermatologists' offices. Actually, 60 million people in the U.S. suffer from acne. 50% of all women have acne, and 95% of everybody in the population suffers from acne at some point in their life. Yeah, and sometimes the effects of it don't go away on their own. You see scarring and, and people, you know, they can really become introverted and, and self-conscious. That's right. About 20 million people every year suffer from acne scarring and it really can be a source of psychological impairment. So there are great new technologies and new ways to treat acne without taking Accutane, without taking oral antibiotics for a long period of time. Yeah, and, and people, you know, are afraid of kind of the oral treatments um, and sometimes people feel like the topical treatments don't work. So we'll get to the new treatments in a moment, but first let's dispel some of the myths because they've been floating floating around really forever. Um, and so let's take a look. The top three, poor hygiene. That's right. Acne is not caused by poor hygiene. But of course, it's important to keep your skin clean. Keeping bacteria down will decrease inflammation in your skin. Mm -hmm. And as we said, you know, there's this myth that it goes away once your teen years are over, but that's not true. That may not be true as well. There is a, an important subset of many people that have acne later in life as adults and never suffer it during adolescence. Some people have it throughout their entire life, but some people have it during adolescence and some have it just only as adults. Mm -hmm. And finally, that it'll just go away on its own. I mean, we all know don't touch it. <laughs> don't, you know, don't pick. Um, but, but it is good to treat. It That's can right. really do a lot. That's right. We really can slow down the course of acne and prevent that unwanted acne scarring. There are many new exciting treatments. Acne does not usually go away on its own. It needs to be treated. It's a chronic inflammation. Yeah, let's talk about some of those new treatments. And some of them involve lasers, which people may think, oh, that sounds scary. But it, it can really be done kind of quickly and simply. And, and you say it is cost effective. That's right. We have two new exciting technology. One is called the XLV laser genesis that actually kills acne bacteria, gets rid of unwanted blackheads, and decreases inflammation on the skin. Totally painless, four or five treatments that take 10 or 15 minutes, very cost effective, can improve your acne significantly without taking oral antibiotics or Accutane. Wow. Okay, what's clear and brilliant? Clear and Brilliant is a low energy fractional laser that also shrinks sebaceous glands and again turns over your skin cells so they don't get plugged up, cause blackheads and whiteheads, which are the early lesions of acne. And finally, um, kind of a thermal treatment. You actually heat, I guess, the skin. That's right. Acne is a disorder of sebaceous glands. Thermage is a technology that involves radio frequency heating that actually shrinks the sebaceous glands for a long period of time, similar to Accutane, but without the effects of Accutane, giving long-term remissions in those individuals with more severe acne. And maybe this would help those folks who just can't get into the routine and use the treatments on their own. If they come into the office, you do it there. I, I don't know how much upkeep there is at home, but I know sometimes it's hard to get teenagers to get into a routine. That's right. Coming in <laughs> once every two or three weeks or once a month, or with Thermage even just once every six months, can can keep your acne under control without needing to do anything at home at all. All right, and, and we want to mention your new book, The New Natural. It's talking about uh, staying young using some of these new technologies, so people have to pick that up and check it out. Hey, thank you so much. Everybody wants to stay young. They don't necessarily want to be younger, but they want their skin to be healthy and I'd beautiful. I'd like to be younger. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Dr. Sadik. Nice My to pleasure. have you on the show. Up next, the big money winner of that huge Powerball jackpot. Stick around.